Hey guys, uh, today I'll be doing a basic uh, video on BitTorrent. I'm not going to be going over any tweaks or anything to your client to increase download speeds or going over anything in too much detail. It's just going to be going over the uh, the basics. And so for, first off, you should start off with your uh, BitTorrent client. Now I know there are lots of different clients you can choose from. On Linux, I use Transmission, or sometimes, I don't know if I have it installed on this one or not. I know, I can't remember the name of it, but it's similar to uTorrent for Windows, which is a very popular one. Views is another popular one. Uh, if you're having trouble deciding which one you want to get, you can go ahead and just go to your search engine of choice and uh, look up the best, just search the best uh, BitTorrent client for your operating system. And so once you have your operating system, or not your, not once you have your operating system, once you have your BitTorrent client, you want to go and search for your uh, your torrent. Now there's lots of different ways you can go about uh, doing this. One thing you can always do is Googling uh, so the name of the thing you want to download. Now you can download things illegally this way, which is one of the primary uses. I'm not going to be doing that though. I'll just search uh, Ping iOS BitTorrent, or another one is Torrent. You just search that. It brings you to their SourceForge page. Uh, so it's at the page. Now most distros will do it. And you can just search. You see down here it says regular download, regular download torrent torrent. You're going to want to get the uh, torrent. Now, if you're not uh, like, if you're not getting distro or something, you can search for another thing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so, for example, you can use a bit torrent specific website. The Pirate Bay is one that's really popular. Lots of people use it, of course, for legal stuff, but there's plenty of legal stuff on it too, so I'll use it for that. So if I want to search back track 5, I search it, and it'll come up here. Now, if you see over here, it has S, E, and L, E. Alright, so S, E is stands for Cedars. Cedars are people who've downloaded the, downloaded the entire entire file and if you didn't know uh, what BitTorrent is, you're just downloading small parts of the file from people that upload it to you and then it's assembled and you have the complete file after a while. And Cedars are the people who've completely downloaded the file and are uploading information to the uh, pool of people that are, are downloading or uploading from the same thing. Leechers are people, I believe, who haven't quite downloaded all of the file yet. So you, when you're downloading one, it'll look for your cedar to leecher uh, rate ratio. It's always a good idea to have more cedars than there are leechers. And when I search for torrents, I always make sure to click on whatever bit torrent search engine I'm using. Make cedars first. So you see 123 cedars. That means 123 people are uh, uploading their data to you. Now if you see, even though that it's 123 series and it's the most, it's not the file I want. This is Backtrack, backtrack 3. And that's probably just because Backtrack is a, or this release, anyways, is released, uh, is kind of new. And another website, and this is my new favorite. I'm using this one a lot. I find that the uh, Cedar ratio is much higher. All I have to do is like the other one, search for what you want, so backtrack 5 search for that, wait a minute for it to load you can see here that you have your files, now just like the other one, back I got backtrack uh, 3 now some websites will have a backtrack, or not backtrack, it'll be whatever you searched for uh, direct download or sponsored link, as you can see here that's a sponsored link uh, you don't want to get those 
you want to get the ones that are just the torrent files. So you see here, and this website search, searches them by uh, the greatest amount of seers and the reliability of it. Oh, that's not, oops. Ads. A lot of these websites have ads. So let me zoom that. Oops. All right. So you see that some of these have um, a low rating, like that bar. That apparently is availability. But you can also see over here. I believe that's your. Uh, I don't know. I haven't used this a whole lot. Now someone. Uh, yeah, so that's saying it got good info, but since it's red, it's not going to be very fast. You want the ones that are like this. Uh, 66 cedars, that's pretty good. Uh, depending on what you're searching on, you're going to get more cedars. Now, once you have uh, your torrent file, you're going to download your torrent file. So, uh, I'll actually search Penga. Oops. Penga OS. And we'll wait for it to load. Uh, that's that's not. Uh, I'll I'll click on it anyways. So on this website, it has a couple of download downloaded links or download links. Once again, you want to stay away from the uh, sponsored links. Magnet links that's going to direct or that's going to open your program directly from the browser. You're not going to have to double click on the file. Uh, download torrent's going to download the dot torrent file. And that's what, uh, that's normally what people do. I know some, I don't know some people, but I know people do use the magnet link. And if the, if it's the magnet link, your BitTorrent program, your default one, will go ahead and fire right up and it'll display you with what you want to do. If not, you'll have the option to click on the file, dot .torrent file. And you can see here with transmission, it's going to be different depending on what client you have. But see, on, tra on transmission, it gives you this little window. It has the torrent file that you're selected to download as your destination folder or where you're going to download all the files to. Uh, the files you can, if you're downloading a file that has more things than what you just want, like some of them have downloaded from blah blah blah, or some of them have programs to check out or whatever, you can uncheck those so it doesn't download them, and that should. Since you're downloading less data, it'll be done faster. So if you want to do that, you can. But since this is only one file, if I uncheck that, I wouldn't be downloading anything, and that would be a complete waste of time. You can change the priority. Higher will use more bandwidth. Lower will use less bandwidth. Normally, I have it set to normal. Start when added. That means as soon as you click add, it'll start downloading. Then you have another option to move the .torrent file to the trash. and I don't recommend doing that in case something goes wrong and it gets corrupted when it's downloading. So if the .torrent file is still in your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the .torrent file to, you can just uh, re-download it. Once you click add, if I go to the uh, thing here, you can see it says the the title of the torrent and it says none of 1.6 downloaded from 0, 0 connected peers and it says it's idle. That'll happen sometimes depending on your connection. Uh, after you wait a little bit, it should start uh, downloading, and that will happen here in a minute. If I, you go over here, you see that I have another one. Uh, we'll just show seeding. And I'm seeding Linux Mint 11 GNOME DVD 32 bit.iso. I downloaded this directly from the Linux Mint website. But you can see here that I've downloaded all of it. Uh, I've done this is the total size of it. This is how much I've uploaded. So I've uploaded 1 to 10 or 1.10 ratio, which is generally you always want to upload at least uh, a 1, like the ratio 1. So that way uh, you've uploaded as much file as you downloaded. And if, you, if you're one of those people who just downloads it and then deletes it from your list so you don't upload it, uh, that's frowned upon. People are going to get mad because they're going to get slower download speeds. As you can see here, though, uh, I've uploaded more than I've downloaded, so I'm doing pretty good. I could remove that right now, but I'm not going to because I like to support the community. Uh, and as you see here, like I said, it says downloading from three of eight connected peers and your download speed. 
um, as you're downloading from more peers and more peers are connected and you download from more and more of them your download speed will go up so you see here mine went from like 200 kilobits per second or kilobytes per second my bad to uh, like 800 I think it was but that'll get faster and as you can see I'm getting connected to a few more peers now since I downloaded it from that website it's going to be slower if you wanted to you could just download like you know uh, it would it would be faster because more people would be have already downloaded there as you can see it's detecting more and soon I'll be connected to them and it'll be faster overall I think BitTorrent is a really good way of downloading large files uh, there it's useful for getting lots of things like I said if you want to get illegal files this way you can if you do it right it can be really fast and one thing to note, if you're using Views, I know that has a search engine built into it. I wouldn't use it because I don't know if there is a uh, way to sort the, like, cedar, how many cedars or leaksters are there. So I would stick with another website like BitSnoop or the Pirate Bay, or if you're downloading a distri Linux distribution, you could uh, check out their website. They always have it. And that's about it for this video. Uh, if you like the video, please comment it and favorite it and stuff, and subscribe to me for more uh, videos like this. Thank you.